So now that I've been at home for about a week, I've started to actually notice a few different things compared to when I was staying in Kiev. I mean, the first thing that actually comes to mind is maybe my productivity is a little bit down. I don't feel like I'm pushing out as much content or work as maybe I should, but that might be more to do with the fact that when I was in Kiev, obviously I was there for the Pushka League stuff. So I had a more clear, decisive goal in mind with what I want to do with the days, right? And I had something I was fully working towards. And I somehow I'm now just kind of reflecting on because I actually have noticed that I have this tendency to maybe let my own personal projects lag behind. I think we highlighted this a little bit before in a previous video. Like when it's someone else's stuff, I work my ass off. When it's my own stuff, it's like, eh, I guess it can wait. And that's something I've actually got to think about what to do with in the coming days. Because there's, like I said in the previous video, there are a few projects I want to start getting off the ground in the coming weeks. And with um, things like these daily vlog kind of entries, maybe now I should be dedicating a little bit more time into actually doing more in the videos than just having my face up. Uh, I think it's good that I've already started expanding into the Dota replays. I need to start watching more of the games each day to make sure I can kind of get the interesting ones. I don't want to force it every day with an interest, interesting game. Uh, so if you guys ever have suggestions of, of competitive games where you think there's something interesting or something you want kind of ciphered and dissected then let me know and that's something i can look to do i'd love to maybe bring in guests to actually hope uh, help break those type of games down as well i think the other thing i need to actually do moving forward is start to just line things up in my calendars give myself deadlines and try and stick to them like each day have something in mind that you want to get done and don't let yourself just relax until you've done those things i think the moment between the heat the the kind of atmosphere being at home and actually like the land depression side of things i am getting a little bit kind of bummed out and a little bit stuck in my ways. Even small things actually like, you know, just shaving and, and taking care of yourself personally, I think can help maybe bolster your productivity. I think the land depression thing is actually a big fair point. Um, I've noticed this time and time again, I'll be on a high, I'll feel great. And then as soon as the event is over, you feel like crap because you're just going back to your, you know, your home life where you don't necessarily have something planned to do. It's great to be there with the people you love, but at the same time, it's not, it's not like, uh, it's kind of like for me, because of the way that esports is as a job for me, it's kind of like being on holiday and then coming off holiday, right? It's that weird feeling when in reality, uh, if you think about it, like I'm at work and then when I come home, I'm on holiday. But because of the, the wonderful nature of my work in esports, it can sometimes feel a little bit in reverse, a little bit conflicted. And I think like that maybe hits into the productivity side for obvious reasons, because you are just going to be on a, kind of like huff and graph you a little bit down low. You don't feel good about the situation. Um, but I think it's also due to more potential distractions. Like when you're at home, you know, like uh, when I was in Ukraine, I didn't have access to all the TV, for example. Oh, I didn't have friends or family close by, which isn't an issue right now because I'm staying inside quarantine like you all should. But that's something that usually could be a concern. It's something I'm actually reflecting on now. I think also it comes... Um, back to that whole perfectionist thing and how it's starting to slip in because when I was abroad and I didn't have all the tools to do things productively or make very thorough videos with like the Adobe cool, uh, toolkits, I was in this motion of, well, I'm just going to put it out. It is what it is and I need to get on with it. But now because I've got more tools, I worry that when I put out these type of videos, maybe they aren't a high enough quality. Um, but I think I just need to get over that hurdle and accept like pushing content. Any content is better than no content. And while it's nice to have refined content, if you want to have this consistent stream, step one is making sure you can, you can actually commit to that consistent stream. So that's something I'm going to be looking to fix in the coming days and weeks. I think I actually want to try and pad uh, what we're doing on this channel beyond just the daily vlogs. I actually have people maybe come in, for example, I'm thinking of having uh, guests, maybe starting like a podcast series where I'm not sure if we'll talk about the person's life versus other subjects in the world. I think it'd be interesting to have both of those two mesh together. And there's also some other ideas mixing around on type of guests that I could could bring in um but to get to that of course i do have to work past this huff and gruff i'm gonna keep going on huff and gruff huff and gruff sounds like a damn good name for it like this this downward feeling of like you're not doing enough in a day which is probably true but you can come up with 101 reasons not to and that goes back to my classic saying is that you only you know you can come up with 100 excuses not to do something you only need one reason to do it and i just need to get back to that uh, I think someone's going to maybe help that. Some things I'm going to try in the coming days. Like I said, I'm going to start taking care of myself uh, in terms of how I look. Make sure I start getting back on my exercise regime because I really let it slip when I was over in Ukraine after I broke my arm. Uh, another thing is I'm going to try and set myself 
tasks to actually accomplish in a day. There's a bunch of, of stuff that I actually need to catch up on in terms of like relating to uh, my casting career as a business, some things in the background that I wanted to be involved in, uh, some development related things possibly as well was what I had in mind. These are all things I need to catch up on. So I think step one is going to be that kind of taking care of yourself again. Step two is going to be actually setting myself work to do in a given day. And I think this is kind of like me now turning into a reflection on what I could do better. And maybe, maybe you guys get a little bit inspired on what you can do better. I think it's nice to actually keep yourself a checkered list. And maybe if, I think wherever possible, if you can anchor your work or any projects you're working on to other people in a way that isn't like, damn, I screw them over if I don't get this done, but in that they are invested in what you're doing, I think that's better. At least for me, for me, it's always been better because that way, like there is, uh, there's a weight behind the rush towards completing something. If I'm just doing something for myself, I don't really feel pressured to do it. Uh, whereas with these daily vlogs, because I've kind of made, I don't, I don't think I said a strong promise, but like I said, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this for you guys. I wanted to interact with you guys on a daily basis. There is that obligation to it. Of course, the catch within that obligation is making sure the content I come up with to talk about you guys is a, unique enough or something you want to hear about. So this is not one of those little videos that I thought I put out in between where we get about the big subjects about like Apex Legends or we talk about esports degrees. I thought it'd be cool to have one of these ones where we just discuss that side of productivity. Um, and that's something I'm going to be working on in the coming days. If you guys actually do have any big subjects you want covered, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Let me know what you've been thinking of the balance of content so far. Like this is kind of, I think this is a check-in on myself in this vlog. Like some of these are for you guys. Uh, me talking to you guys. Some of these are kind of like a dear diary, a true dear diary entry, I guess. Uh, I guess in a way, a lot of them are, but this is like a self-reflection type one in the moment. Like fix it, KP, get your crap together. And let me know what kind of crap you want to see. Uh, I really appreciate it when you guys actually tune in like that. If you want to see more of the dirt analysis, let me know. If you want me to try and get my hands on other games analysis, I'd be happy to actually get involved in that. I would love to do some some uh, FPS-based analysis. I don't know if I'd be ready for like the Rainbow Six or CSGO, but, you know, things like the like Battle Royale games, I can happily, like, tune in and kind of break those down and I feel confident doing it. If you want to hear me talking about more industry-related subjects or news around the world, or maybe you want some movie reviews, I don't, I don't know. Like, this is the thing. This this could be anything, and this is your opportunity to tune in, guys. I know there's been some people watching this day in, day out, and I appreciate you guys. I know you've actually, like, been relaying info, interacting with the videos, and I appreciate that. Uh, but I really want to know what you want to see coming next because for me, I'm the type of person that hears something and then reflects and reacts on it, if that makes sense. Like that, we've said it in previous videos, my strong point has always been my ability to react to something. And I want to react to what you guys think, what you guys are imagining or perceiving or want to see so that I can actually push forward some content that I know you're going to like, but it's not about me not doing something I wouldn't want to. It's more about like... um me being given an example of, of something and then paint like it, it you know what it is actually the perfect example is this it's like i've been watching the medici series recently if you haven't watched that on netflix amazing series go watch it it's got game of thrones members in it it's got dustin hoffman amazing tv show um but i've been watching that and actually something i realized is like uh now now that i'm sitting here thinking about this it's a bit like the the artist and patron interaction if that makes sense so like in a way, you guys are the patrons and that you you come and you say, I want you to paint this in God's image. And I am being the artist and saying, okay, here's my portrayal of that. So I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Tomorrow, hopefully we'll have like an interesting subject. I did have a minor creative block, but that really came into the productivity side of things. Apologies for that. I'm going to try and get ahead of that. I'm going to try and actually start getting these projects off the ground because there's plenty coming here that I actually want to share with you guys. Uh, but I don't want to do it before it's ready. I don't want to... Uh, jump the gun all right trailer for a game that never comes situation don't want that but thank you for watching this and hopefully i'll see you tomorrow hopefully we'll have some invigorating conversation to talk about or maybe some replays to look at i'm actually gonna keep my eye out for any peculiar games i see maybe coming out of the dirt pit side of things today maybe the chinese leagues as well i'm always on the lookout for those because i think i had fun with the first one but there's definitely much to improve on with that format so that's it rounding up here make sure you subscribe make sure you follow the channel social media you can catch my updates when uh, the video is going live there and i'll see you in the next one